Welcome back to Fallout 1.5. Let's explore the rest of this town and see if we can find some better equipment. I've also got a quest that I can do, the whole defend the Brahmin thing, but um, again, I don't want to actually do that until I have better equipment, because this single shot pistol is just terrible. Doesn't seem like there's anyone in there. I'm trying to resist the urge to just like try to loot everything, like all these bookcases and stuff, because I know it's considered stealing. Although, what if I... Hold on. Can I just open this? If no one sees me, maybe, maybe it's not really... No one cares? I don't know. Can I just take it? I guess. It's hard to know what you're supposed to loot and what you're not, because like, new RPGs have sort of trained me to loot everything. And sometimes they're fine with it, you know? You can just, like, loot chests inside of people's houses and it's not stealing and they don't care. And you're supposed to. I don't know whether I'm supposed to take this stuff. I guess I'll just take it. Some jerky and some fruit. Cool. What can you do with a rope? Strong, thick line about 45 feet in length. I think you can use that to like... I feel like I maybe used that to rappel down somewhere in uh, Fallout 2. So perhaps if a situation like that arises, that's what you can use it for. How am I doing on weight, by the way? Because I know I can't carry much. 43 out of 110. Okay, that's fine. I've got some stuff I could sell, like the scorpion tail. It's probably heavy, but don't need to worry about that for now. Dog! Woof woof. It says talk, but I can't seem to talk with it. A canine probably of a mixed breed. Fascinating. New Hope President. Brahmin really smell this time of year. Nice to meet you too, goodbye. Why is there just like goo? Why is there just goo hanging around the Brahmin? That didn't come out of them, did it? Hi. Anyone inside the tents? Yeah. Oh, that's the the doctor, right? Yeah. Or, um... No, not the doctor, but... The person who found me. Hi, I'm glad you got better. Your injuries looked pretty bad. He pauses for a minute. I wanted to ask you for a favor. My son Tommy disappeared. He was supposed to watch the Brahmin, but when I went to check on him, I only found you. I'm starting to get worried. He's never been gone for this long. Do you think that... Could you look for him? Sure. What does he look like? Describes Tommy appearance to you. I hope you can find him soon. Oh, that's the... That was the kid in the cave? The dead one? I'm um, sorry, but that description matches a corpse I saw in the cave. What? No, that can't be. Why would he go there? He knew how dangerous it is. He must have known. He... He starts sobbing. Oh my god. He was trying to hide Rachel's necklace. He was a thief. I'm sorry. I'm telling this person who's grieving now. He's just trying to come to terms with the fact that their son is dead and I'm going to tell him that their son is a thief. It seems like this maybe is not the best time to say that. Rachel's necklace? So it's true. But why did he do it? <laughs> Look at the bright side. He's dead now, so at least he won't steal anything else. Jesus. It's back with Rachel now. She knows that Tommy stole it. His face expression changes to horror. Oh no, what have you done? Rachel will do anything to taint his memory. And then she'll turn the whole village against me. She won't stop until she destroys me completely. I... Leave. I have nothing to say to you anymore. 
Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I didn't know. Shit. Maybe I should have talked to him before turning in the necklace. I wonder if uh, that quest can be completed differently. Well, yes, I'm restarting the game. No, I'm just kidding. Let's try to go through these tents methodically so I don't miss something. Greetings. I'm Adam. I heard what you went through in that cave. It's a good thing it didn't end up worse than it did. I assume you aren't planning to stay here long? Probably not. Why? I assume you're going to pass... I'm s I assume you're going to pass Kirtland. I mean, Rathole. That's what it's called now that it's been destroyed by a local dispute. It's the closest town from here. Just like everyone else in the settlement, I'm originally from Kirtland. And like many others, I left part of my family there. He sighs. I'd like to know how they're doing. I understand. How do you want me to do this? I wrote them a letter. This was some time ago, but nothing much has changed since then. I'm still just trying to survive. I'd appreciate it if you brought it to them. Red Hole is here. He shows you the location on the map. Their house should be somewhere on the south end of the town. That's all I remember. I hope they'll still be there. Okay. Out of curiosity, does that get added as an actual quest, or do I just have to, like, remember that? Okay, it's an actual quest. That thief Tommy only got what he deserved. Wow, word spreads fast. Seems like everybody outside of a tent doesn't really have anything to say. Hmm, this person looks special, maybe. Farmer? Nope, never mind. What am I doing with that? What did I just do with it? <laughs> just waving my hands in front of it. Okay. I have an idea about that well, but, um, let me check the rest of the town. I think that actually might be it, actually. Yeah, that's it. Oh, this place is really tiny. All right. So here's my hunch about that well. I have a memory of going down wells with a rope. So... Is this going to work? That does nothing. Damn it! What's this rope for, then? What a tease. Alright, well, um... Looks like there is no better equipment to get in this town, so I guess I'll just do the Brahmin quest? Maybe they'll give me better equipment at the end of it or something. Who was it? That? I think that was the mayor that had the quest for me. Save, just in case I die, because I don't know what I'm going to be defending the Brahmin against. Probably rad scorpions. Work. All right, let's go guard the Brahmin. Wasn't this a quest in one of the original fallouts too? Early? In the beginning? Two more boring hours pass. Oh, here we go. Okay. Moo, moo, moo. Don't kill the Brahmin. How much health do they have? It's wounded. Okay, so it's not, like, almost dead, at least. It's got some hit points. Okay. If I remember right... I, I'm not sure if I'm remembering right, but I feel like if there's another enemy... I mean, if there's another character in the way of what you're trying to shoot and you miss, that you might hit it. So I might actually shoot the Brahmin instead of the Scorpion, because it's kind of in the way, but I'm going to risk it. Yeah, I can actually hit stuff now that I've upgraded my skill. Let's get a better angle on these things. 
Oh no, that Brahmin's so dead. It's got three scorpions on it, come on. Can only take one out at a time, I'm sorry. Don't die, don't die! How's it doing? Severely wounded, oh, that's not good. Come on, one more. Come on, attack me instead. No, you asshole. Alright, it's not dead. Alright, we got this. Uh... 95% chance for which one? I'm gonna do an aim shot just so I know which one it is. Don't wanna accidentally hit the Brahmin. Oh, fuck, I didn't kill it! Uh-oh. Um... I can get one step. 31% chance. Oh man, this is the worst. It's severe ah, severely wounded. It's not almost dead. It probably will survive another attack, maybe. Reload. Yes, it attacked me. That's actually good, although I've been poisoned. That sucks. But at least the Brahmin will live. Ah. <sighs> Do they all have tails? How you doing? Well, severely wounded, so I guess you're not doing too well, but you're alive. Um, how do I get rid of the poisoning? How the heck do I get rid of that? I mean, I guess a stim pack might do it? Can I just wait it off? Maybe I'll go visit the doctor, maybe they can heal me. Let's go do that first, actually. Thank you for helping my wife, I couldn't take it anymore. In return, if you bring me a Brock flower and a Xander root, I will make you some healing powder, free of charge. Oh, perfect, I've got a bunch of those. Since I don't have the proper ingredients to make, uh, medicine mints? Medicine mints? Is that a word? I've experimented with the local plants. I've discovered that the combination of these two has healing properties. It does have side effects, though. It deteriorates your eyesight slightly, but only temporarily. Sounds like it lowers my perception. Can you make them? Oh, can you heal me? Ah, it's gonna cost money. Fine. Okay. Make me some powder. Wish I could make more than one at a time. You're a natural Brahmin herder. Here's your reward. Thanks. Didn't actually say what I got, but it looks like I got about a hundred caps or so. Nice. I still want a proper freaking weapon. Let's wait until morning. I don't like it when it's dark. And save, and then I think it's time to go to the overworld and try to find Rat Town. Oh, you know what? Um, can I read the letter? Nah, I guess I can't. Dang, I wanted a snoop. I mean, come on, it's not even sealed. Okay, here's the overworld map. If I remember right, there's a chance of random encounters on the overworld map when you're traveling. I wonder how big the map is. 
Yeah, let's just go straight there. Please don't have a random encounter. Please don't have a random encounter. Please don't have a random encounter. Oh, we made it. Wait, no. Uh, do I click this? Do I have to go to the center? How do- oh, there we go. Somehow it's not that good today. What, does your cigarette taste like ashes? I can't rest, damn it. And it's nighttime. I can't see shit, it's freaking dark. Uh, and there's bodies on spikes, okay, yeah. I'm surprised no one shot me yet. No, don't leave. What? South side, I guess. Several houses standing among the great heaps of rubble hint that someone probably still lives here. You see steak, tree, steak. I see more than just a steak. It takes a long drag on the cigarette and gives you a dumbass smirk. Yeah? I don't think this person is going to talk to me very friendly. I'm, I'm just coming up like an innocent bystander talking to what I'm pretty sure is a thug. Hi there, I'd like to ask you a few things. Ask? Let me tell you just one thing. He has a coughing fit. His cigarette falls down. Damn. Just one thing. But it's a very important thing. You can ask whatever. But answers, kitty cat, answers is what you have to pay around pay for around here. He flashes his half-dumb smile again, and I bet that's probably the last thing that you'll learn for free in this town. Hmm. Can I use my speed skill? Sorry to hear that. I don't have that many spare caps. Okay, if you get some money, don't hesitate to come by. Trevor's always happy to help. Should I pay him for information? I guess so. Alright, how much will the short conversation cost me? 20. That's not too bad, alright. What? Hmm. I know what town this is. Hmm. Have you ever seen this talisman before? He waves his hand carelessly. I'm not interested in crap like that. I have enough troubles as it is, like how not to be gunned down by Leonard's people. But you could try one of the old residents. If anybody ever saw this trinket of yours around here, they would know something about it. I don't want to ask you something else. Who's in charge? In charge? You mean like a mayor or something? <laughs> you can forget that. George, the last loser who was marrying around here, is glad he can is glad he can beg enough to survive. Now basically only these two guys are in charge. Leonard in the north and Julian to the south. We're in the south right now, right? Alright, who are they? Just a couple of merchants fighting over this town. Leonard's in charge of the north side. He mainly deals in drugs and similar shit. You better stay away from there. He puffs on the cigarette and points south. Julian's in charge of the south side. If you're looking for work, you should go and see him. I'm sure he'll have something for you. Otherwise, that's the place to go if you're looking for anything to do with guns. I am. Yeah, drugs? No thanks. Guns and quests? Thank you. Although, I, I'm kind of afraid of what kind of a quest the person's going to give me. Might be something I don't want to do. How do we get to Julian? You'll find him in the building where it says guns. Tell him I sent you. Alright. Hold on, there was something in this dialogue thing that I wanted to go through. Tell me more about the south side. Things are a hundred times better here. No paradise, but you can live here. Those three buildings over there, that's the boss's place. Like I told you, if you're looking for work, that's where, to, where you go. Then there's Julian's bar and even our very own hospital. Oops. Back to this, tell me about the north side. In one word, fucked up. Not for softies. 
If you trip over a dead guy, don't look surprised. I think that gives you an idea, eh? Don't look, uh, don't look that way. The North also has some bar, a church, and a uh, place where that bastard Leonard lives. Like I said, you should avoid that part of town. What's the ruling law here? Obviously there isn't any. Is there anything interesting here? Lately, I think the most interesting thing is where all the rats have gone. Could it be they started dying off like this town? For a moment, a shadow of thought crosses his face, but he immediately starts smiling again. Gotcha. Rats are perhaps the only thing there's plenty of around here. Too many. Looking forward to shooting more rats, yay! <laughs> Who are you, anyway? The name's Trevor. I work for Julian, and as you can see, I also sometimes act as a guide around here. How long have you been here? Well, a couple of years now, sure. But when I came, the town was already at war. Whatever went on before that, I don't know, and I'm sure I'm not interested. Can you survive without a smoke? What? He drags on the cigarette. Are you serious? You can't change an addiction. And where do you keep getting all these smokes from, anyway? I can't tell you. He reaches into his pocket. Shit, my last pack and only five sticks. That'll, la <laughs> that'll last me hours at best, and I still have to stand guard for so long. Five cigarettes will only last him hours at best. Jesus Christ, chain smoker. Well, I can. looks like I can be a bit of a smartass here. I can claim to know something that I don't actually know, but I guess I'll go with it anyway, because it sounds smart. I'd say the only place you can get them around here is the north side. I'd like to know what your boss would think if he knew you do business with Leonard. What? He won't say anything, because you have no proof. Um, That's very true, I do have no proof. Uh, Calm down, I just wanted you to know I'm no dummy. If you'd like, I could get some more smokes for you. Yeah, well, if you get them, I'll give you a hundred caps. That means you get your questions free and still make a small profit on the side. What do you say? Throw in an extra 50 and it's a deal. Wink, wink. No way. My offer is more than generous. You better get out of here before I get angry. Oh, did I just ruin the entire thing? I can't even do it for a hundred now? Damn it, I thought my speech skill was high enough. I guess not. Fine. I didn't get a quest, did I? Oh, can I do that again? Um, oh, I can't. Well, I fucked that one. <laughs> hey, kid. There we go. Ah! <laughs> That's just too funny looking. Blood with bones. Can I wait here now? I still can't rest here, huh? God, I hate it at night. It's so hard to see stuff. Alright, well. Start exploring around. Graffiti? That's graffiti? It looks like a faded poster. Begging old man. Oh, look, such a traveler, he wheezes, and an adventurer will surely have some change, right? What's wrong? Are you ill? Some change. Have any? Mm -hmm. How much do you need, old man? At least 15 ca He starts coughing. 15 caps, or 20, please. Okay, I can give you 15. Hopefully it'll help you a bit. How long have you been begging? 
for a long time, but I didn't used to be a beggar. It all used to be different here. Oh, is this an old resident? Someone I could ask about the talisman, perhaps? Tell me about it, please. Well, years ago, it was still busy in here. Business was flourishing, all of, all of Kirtland grew. I used to be the mayor here. <laughs> this person used to be the mayor? He pauses for a long time. Yes, believe it or not, I used to be the mayor. And then those two came. The two merchants. Yep, Julian and Leonard. Those two used to be friends. But then something happened that shouldn't have come about. Their love for Maria destroyed everything. <laughs> A love triangle? What? Uh, who was Maria? Maria was my only daughter. She was so beautiful. So love triangle with the mayor's daughter. In in interesting. Okay. Let me guess. She's not alive anymore. She was? What's up with her now? I'm not gonna say that. It's obvious she's dead. Who did she pick? She... I have no idea. She didn't even know herself. What happened? She died. Nobody knows why. He pauses for a long time. They found her stabbed to death. And Julian and Leonard. They both say the other killed her. Because she didn't choose him. Hmm... I wonder if I can find out who actually killed her. So that's why they're in war with each other? Exactly. Friendship turned into hate, and the town died with Maria. That is an incredibly silly storyline. Has anybody tried to clarify the murder? No, that's the... He coughs. The only reason I'm staying here. I want to know the truth before I die. <laughs> This is so silly. Getting ready to die? What? Why would I say that? I guess I have to. I'm ill. I'm dying more every day. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help you somehow. You can't save me. The only thing I want is to find the real murderer. Okay, I'll help you, but first I need to know more so I know where to start. Thanks. That's noble of you. Sadly, I don't know much myself. Back then, they just called me to the alley where it had happened. When I saw her lying there, I couldn't make another step. My legs weakened and they had to carry me away. It hurt me a lot. I have no idea how it went afterwards. I was angry with the whole world and I wanted to be as far away as possible from everyone. So nobody told me anything. Just Farley brought me a note from Dr. Reed that the funeral was taken care of. Who's Dr. Reed? She used to work at the clinic here. She left the town shortly after the murder, and she did the right thing. There would be nothing good in store for her. Where exactly did the murder happen? Northside. And doesn't matter where exactly. From what I've heard, the place lies in ruins, so you won't find the exact spot. Okay, so some ruin in the north. Probably full of rats that I need to shoot. I'll see what I can figure out. I'm feeling kind of dirty. Let's take a bath. Ah, no water in it. Damn. Can I rest here? Damn it, I still can't. Scenarios. That probably goes to the north side. Oh, there's lots of like aimless people. And this is the good side? This is the south side? This place is such a shithole. Is this the gun? No, that's a clinic. 
some mercenaries guard the buildings and stuff. Eh, let's go in the clinic. Hey, whore, how much would one round be? Um, thanks. Now that's good dialogue. What do you want? I NEED A DOCTOR! Yeah, and I need money. If you have some, let's make a deal. Otherwise, get out. What's the cost we're talking about? 50 caps and we'll do something with you. Well, guess what? I don't even need to be healed. Anyway. That was an awkward start to our conversation. Who are you? Oh, damn. Another smart lassie has visited our lovely town, I see. Think for a minute. You're in a hospital. This one in armor and armed with a pistol. He points at the guard. Surely isn't a doctor. So there's just me left. Oh, smartass. Just want to talk. I have no time for chit-chat. Get out and don't bother me. How about I stay in and continue to bother you? Mm, sorry for disturbing you, but is there anything left from Dr. Reed? Who? Ah, uh, that'd be the one who ran this place before me. When I came, she'd been long gone. She just left some junk. I threw it into some bag. Maybe it's still here somewhere. But I'm not willing to waste my time finding it. Doctor, listen. It's about the clue to the murder of George's... Dother. I want to unravel the mystery of her death. Her death? Why tamper with that issue and ignite it again? You won't find anything out. Let it be. You won't change anything anymore. Maybe you're right, but I think at least her father deserves an explanation. Hey, I don't know him much and honestly, I don't care. Go bother someone else with it. Ah, I see where this is going. What about something else that, other than compassion for motivation? Depends on uh, the amount of your motivation. Lowballing's a bad idea. This is the value option, and this is screw it, I want to make sure that I go through with this. I don't want to blow this fine 60 caps. Well, I'd say for such a donation, I could look around. Show me the caps and we can talk more. Alright. You really think you can single-handedly resolve what destroyed this city? If you think so... He puts his hand into a cabinet and after a while of searching, pulls out an old leather bag filled with junk. Here you go. Thanks, Doc. What's in that bookcase? Would it be stealing? Okay, that's considered stealing. I'm overloaded. Holy crap, how much junk did she have in there? How much does this thing weigh? Five pounds? What did I pick up that's so heavy? Oh, these scorpion tails weigh 20 pounds. Is that per tail or is that for all of them combined? I don't know, but they're not worth much. Yeah, I'm just a little bit overweight. I'll just drop one. That's per. Each tail weighs 20 pounds and doesn't even sell for that much. There. <laughs> I'm just leaving a scorpion tail on the bottom of the clinic's office floor. I'm sure that's sanitary. Rip anyone who gets surgery in there. Can we, like, open the bag? Not up note. Cosmetic case. Cheesy poofs. And a lighter. They're extremely good. Genuine Mary, Mary May brand cosmetic case. Probably be selling that. Not up note. 
It wasn't difficult to find out how Maria died and figure out who did it. I could make good money on it. But if you're reading this note, it apparently didn't work out and I'm also dead. So you should know that Maria was... The rest of the note is missing, apparently not off by rats. God damn it, the rats did it, didn't they? They stabbed her. And then they covered up the evidence. Well, this is like, useless. What the fuck do I do with this? This doesn't help me at all. This doesn't give me any leads or anything. Uh, what did I just do? Oh, I just dropped it accidentally. Whoops. Um, I don't really know what to do now. Can I go talk with him again? Gurgle. <laughs> and they knew about Maria. Yes. Some bits. Dr. Reed apparently found out who killed Maria, but before she could tell anyone, they probably killed her too. Sadly, rats gnawed on her notes a lot, so we won't learn anything new from them. Hand over the notes. Or hand him the notes. Wait. That's completely different handwriting. The note from Farley wasn't written this neatly. You have to trust me. I've read it so many times I can recall every single detail of it. Dr. Reed couldn't have written the one I saw before. Huh, so whoever wrote the note about the funeral being taken care of... That note... Whoever wrote that note is obviously the murderer. Yes, you have to find him. I hope for some progress. How, how do I find him? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna explore the whole rest of the town, so... Hopefully you find them. Howls loudly. Is that a wolf? Is there a wolf in here? Just a man. Oh, no, there's a dog. Don't yell at the dog. You... What do you want? This is my house. Get out. Calm down, man. I was just wondering about the dog in the next room. Yeah? And why's that? I was wondering what breed it was. Bre- What? Breed. Uh, simply what kind of dog it is. Aren't you interested in that? No. I'm only interested in dogs when they're on my menu. Do you eat them? Well, it's not very healthy, you know. Let's try to convince him here. A dog carries lots of bacteria, and you never know what you might catch from eating it. Whatever I catch from it can't be worse than what I can catch just by living in this hell. So now, if you'll excuse me, I have a roast to prepare. Fuck. Is my speech skill just really that bad? I feel like I'm not able to convince anybody of anything. Maybe I shouldn't have put all my points into small guns on the first level up. I guess next level up I'm putting all my points into speech. Um, Telling him that eating dogs is disgusting is only going to piss him off. I'll just say goodbye. And let's talk again. I think we haven't been introduced yet. My name is Rena. The name's... Steve? That's a weird way to spell Steve. Stay of it. The pleasure ain't mine. And now if you'd be so kind to excuse me, you'll find the door over there. Wait, let's talk about the dog. It's making quite a noise and I was wondering why. He's locked up and in a while he'll be cooked up. Is it clear now? Why do you want to eat him? Why? Because I'm hungry. You think one can eat fruit and Brahmin meat in this town? Dog is as good as it gets around here. Shit. I gotta free that dog, I mean, come on. Like... If I can't convince him, can I at least pay him for the dog? I have fruit, can I give him fruit? I can give him 60 pounds of scorpion tail, can you eat that? Can't you buy anything proper around here? Are you crazy? Here? Unless you're rich, you eat what you 
you eat what you find, and there are damn few rich people around here. Yes! How about I buy that dog from you? The money could buy you food for several days. Oh my god, I'm not only going to save the dog, but maybe it's going to become part of my party? Yeah, yeah, that could work. Okay, but I want at least a hundred for it. Oh, fuck. Fuck. All I have is 50 caps? Not enough, that won't do it all. Fuck! <sighs> okay, if you insist, I'll give you more. Uh, but I don't have it. I better get going then. Okay, I need to complete some quests or trade away some of my stuff. Let's find the gun store. I'm sure I could trade with that person. This must be the gun store, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. The place that says guns! Who the hell are you? I've never seen you here before. Did Leonard send you? Remember, nobody will get Julian alive. Christ, this person's paranoid. Easy there. Trevor said you might have a job for me. He really said that. He gives you an inquisitive look. Don't employ every wimp who comes round. But since you're here, I might have something for you. Something that could be really dangerous. Are you up for it? You won't discourage me that easily. Tell me. Fine. It's about medical supplies. Moore, our doctor, has barely enough to take care of the most urgent cases. Leonard's next offensive could, in the worst case, end in loads of my men kicking the bucket because of the lack of medical stuff. It's essential to replenish our supplies. From now on, it's your task. My assistant, Natalia, will tell you what exactly we need. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, it just automatically initiated a conversation with her. Oh, well? How many times am I supposed to tell Julian I have no idea what the doctor needs? Go see more, he'll surely tell you what he needs. <laughs> okay, so she doesn't really know anything. Hmm. Wait. Well, I don't know this town that much, I reckon getting medicine won't be that easy after all. Am I right? Of course it's not going to be a stroll in the park. The only one selling medicine here is Leonard, and if he finds out who you're getting them for, he'll have you shot on the spot. No other way around? If you don't have courage for that, the required things can certainly be found elsewhere. But other towns are quite far from here. It would be a long road awaiting you. And what if I steal the stuff from him? I guess you wouldn't mind? Go on then. But don't think it'll be easy. Leonard protects his property damn well. And he has no problem with shooting thieves. You can't afford to make a mistake. What if I have to kill some of Leonard's men? We're at war with those fuckers. Kill as many as you want. But if I were you, I'd be more careful. Once you make enemies of them, you won't get to the north side without fighting anymore. If you manage to escape in the first place, that is. Okay. Well, before even doing that quest, let's just trade some stuff. Do you have proper weapons? Not that I'd be able to afford it. Yes, a proper pistol. Oh my god, how much is it? It's 681 caps! Okay, I'm not buying that anytime soon. Oh, guns and bullet magazine. Uh, I think that increases your small gun skill. Okay. I don't think you can use a lighter for anything. I don't think so, right? Unless you, like, need it to set off dynamite or something? I don't know. I'm just gonna sell it. Flower's not worth much. I guess I'll keep that. Definitely sell these freaking things. They're so heavy. Yeah, they're only worth 10 caps each, and each one weighs 20 pounds. Literally one cap for every two pounds of scorpion tail. I 
much does this healing powder sell for? 20. Hmm. Okay, well that will free my inventory very much and give me enough money to buy the dog, thank god. Can I just type in a number here? Oh, sweet, you can. Uh, back to zero? Zero! Zero! Oh fuck, what? I'm an idiot. All right, let's go buy a dog. I mean, the truth is, I don't actually even have to buy the dog. Like, I could just shoot that asshole. I'm not going to, though. Is there some way I could just, like, break the dog out? Is that a door? No, that's a wall. Nah, the door's right here. There's no way I could do it without shooting him. Okay. Mmm... Wait, what? I want at least a hundred for it. I can't even offer him- Oh no, the top one's- Okay, done. That's it. Okay. Here's the key. Watch out that it doesn't bite you. The bastard has some very sharp teeth. Thanks. Doggy. I'm gonna save you from stave. Stave the asshole. Oh wait, I don't- can I use it from here? Let's do it this way. Woof woof woof! Hey! Hmm... <laughs> well, aren't you a monster? Try to pet the dog on his side. No, 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 no. Look what I have here for you. Would you like some meat? We have a piece of jerky in front of him. Woof! Hide your meat. No, let's not hide my meat. That's right. You'd like some. Here you go. Throw him a piece of meat. The dog leaps for the meat and wolfs it down. With a whimper, he starts begging for more. I don't have any more meat left. I'm sorry. Ah, Dog looks really sad. You can see that he would like some more. I can find some more for you. Okay, so I don't think it's going to come with me until I get some more meat, but I think this person sold jerky? I think they sold one piece? No, two pieces. Okay. Take all of it. 23. There you go, here's some more. The meat disappears almost immediately with a loud swallowing sound. The dog seems calmer. Here, why don't you have one more? Gulp! He swallows the meat while making loud noises. Does it taste good? Come on here, then. Woof! The dog nestles... Nestles? I guess that's a word, isn't it? The dog nestles against you and starts licking your hand. It seems that he likes you and will follow you. This is not what I want to say, but okay. Even though you are a questionable mix of several breeds, you can join me, you mutt. Come here, mutt. That name suits you well. No, it doesn't. What the fuck? After being super nice to this dog, I have to be an asshole to it? Okay. Okay, so I think I have them as a party member, right? You gonna join me? 
You coming? You coming, doggy? Very slowly? Hopefully it starts running if I get far away from it, otherwise it's gonna take forever. Is it like a full party member? I mean, like, does it have an inventory that I can store stuff in and... Uh, would you like to come outside, doggy? Is it coming? Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's a full party member, combat control. Change for positioning. Stay, uh, stay by me. Good boy. Are you gonna stay near me now? There you go, there you go, buddy. Can barely see you with how dark it is. Mutt. I wanna rename them, but I can't. Combat control, how does this work? Best weapon, aggressive. I don't think I need to mess with this. Um, yeah, it looks like they have a carrying capacity. They can hold 225 pounds. Which is insane. Oh my god, you really are a pack mule. Wait, can you hold stuff? I can't trade with you. I don't think they can hold stuff. Nah, I guess not. Oh, well, that's fine. This is awesome! I got a, f a dog friend! Oh my god, I gotta come up with a proper name for it, because I definitely don't want to call it Mutt. Well, I think that's a pretty good note to end on. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm probably going to go explore a little bit more around... It's not Leonard, is it? No, that's the north side person. The, uh, whatever the name of the south side person is, around the gun shop, there are a couple more buildings there. And I guess I'll ask that person some questions as well. See what they have to say. But then after that, I'm going to go to the north side and probably get into some trouble with Leonard and the north side gang. <laughs>